one headed to the gym right now. Chest day, back day. Let's go! When you're trying to vlog in traffic, it gets super awkward when the person next to you finds out that you're singing to yourself into a camera. I don't care though! I got a big green stash, pocket full of cash, just seen a big old ass. I just blew me. Got on my wrist like I do not know what permanent is. Time is money, so I went and bought a Rolex. Time is money, so I went and bought a Rolex. Just got done with the gym. Chest day, back day. It was a great day. Had someone outside, literally just chilling. Another super awkward thing is when you're filming coming out of the gym and someone decides to stand directly next to where you want to film. It gets a little awkward, this whole filming, talking to a camera with no one else around. No one really knows what you're doing or why you're doing it, but whatever. You just gotta do it. We'll see you back at home. Okay, back from the gym. Apple with peanut butter, one of my go-to snacks throughout the day. Love apple with peanut butter. Just wanna make sure you guys know the difference between good peanut butter and bad peanut butter. Good peanut butter, boom. Teddy's peanut butter, check it out. Teddy's peanut butter. This is what you wanna get, all natural peanut butter. No, you know, hydrogenated oils in this. Only, how many ingredients? Two ingredients, dry roasted peanuts and salt. That's what you're looking for. The least amount of ingredients. Don't go after that Jif, don't go after the Skippy, anything like that. Get the Teddy's peanut butter. It just tastes better too. Believe me, believe me. Okay, I got some news for you guys. Okay, so as some of you guys might know, maybe some of you guys don't know, but about six, seven, eight months ago, I quit my corporate job. I had a corporate job in sales a tech company in the city, in Boston, quit that to pursue a new career in fitness. In the beginning, when I, what I really wanted to do was be an online fitness coach, you know, do some seminars, you know, really just get my name out there through social media, my website, putting out content, providing value to people, and make my money through the online coaching programs that I had. I really didn't ever want to get my certification in personal training, one, because I didn't think I really needed it, which is wrong with me, and two, I am terrified of tests. If you know me, if anyone knows me, I don't do tests. The SATs, tests in college, in high school, anything like that, hated them. Hated them, hated them, hated them. I was actually really scared to, to take a test, especially a, a standardized test, like the certification for personal training, didn't want anything to do with it. And then about 12 weeks ago, three months ago, I decided to go for it. I decided to stop being afraid, decide to you know, get that certification to, to get those credentials in order for people to look at me a little bit differently. You know, a lot of the people in the online fitness world, they don't all have certifications in personal training. That kind of blew my mind in the beginning it made me play the safe route and not go for the certification. So I was like, okay, I don't have to take that test. I can put that off, cool. At the same time, where did they get their knowledge from? I know that you know they, they, they get it from their own experience and testing out things themselves. But at the end of the day, in order to be an accredited coach or an accredited personal trainer, I feel like you need to have these certain credentials in order to make yourself legitimate. Um, that's just a, that's just personally that's just for me and I want to I want to have those credentials I wanted people to look at me differently and when you have a credential like you know the a certification in personal training that you went through the courses that you actually studied and know the science behind the body and the reasons why you're choosing specific um, exercises and workout plans for people it just makes you just makes you more well-rounded and and I think that it can help you more in the long run you know for anyone that that is looking 
to get their certification in personal training. I highly suggest it. Um, I went to the National Academy of Sports Medicine, NASM. Great, great program that they have. Get the online self-study. Has a ton of good information. You know, all different modules with videos, exercises, and quizzes. And if I could give you one tip, um, if you're gonna go for that, certification I say take as many quizzes as you can so as you guys probably want to know how long did it take did I pass the test it took me nine weeks um, like I said 12 weeks ago I decided to do it after I went to Europe nine weeks ago I started to study planned out exactly when I was gonna study what chapters I was gonna study each day and it ended up being that I would be done with the entire course the first week in July. I ended up not taking the test the day that I wanted to take it initially and that was just because the 4th of July came up, you know, I just didn't really have the time to allocate the right enough, the, the, enough studying um, before the test. The week before the test, I wanted to take as many quizzes as I could. I wanted to really study up and I wasn't able to do that. So decided to push it off one more week. So decided to put it, push it off one more week and that led me to yesterday. Yesterday I took the test to be a certified personal trainer and I passed it. I passed the test, now I'm certified. Certified, baby! Feels good. After all that, you know, I had a total stomach ache. Just to just to give you guys a sense of of what was going on. This is a standardized test, so you know, you go into a room, there's there's you go into a cubicle, can't bring anything in there with you. You gotta put it in a bag, put it away. No phone, no water, nothing. Two hours, 120 questions. You need to get a 70 on the test. Me, I'm not a test taker, so I'm shitting my pants the entire time leading up to the test. I don't even think I got a good night's sleep the night before because I was just thinking about it. I passed and if you guys wanna see the piece of paper that shows that I passed, boom, pass, 7-13, 2017. Super pumped about it. Um, come on, focus please. So super pumped about it. Um, you know, I. this is something that I was afraid of. Um, I did not want to take this test at all. This is the last thing I wanted to do. But I also knew that the last thing I also wanted to do was take a retake and have to study even more. So I really focused and I really, you know, sacrificed a lot of, of time day in and day out and the hours um, to really know that I was going to pass it the first time. Because once you pass it once, then it's with you um, for the rest of your life. So. Super pumped about that. Now I'm a certified personal trainer. As always, I still provide all of my online coaching and still will provide all of my online coaching. Right now looking for a place to um, call my home and, and work with people one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. You know, that's 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 what I really wanna do. I really wanna help people change their lives, become more confident, become stronger. You know, get the body that they want, help them lose weight, or you know, help them get over the fear or 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 the 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 lack of work that they've put in into the gym. You know, everyone knows what to do. Everyone knows that they have to work out. Everyone knows the right foods to eat. Not all the time people do that. You know, I want to be the person that keeps keeps other people accountable and just helps them become the best version of themselves. I want to help people really just 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 be the best and and not settle for anything less. That's really what what the what the warrior lifestyle is all about. It's about being the best version of you. It's about it's about going after what you want. It's about doing what you want. It's about sacrifice, discipline, having routines. It's about it's 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 an entire lifestyle. And you know, I, I'm glad for the people that do watch these videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, I just want to keep on growing this community. I want to keep on growing this channel and and this whole brand of the Warrior Lifestyle. So, you know, please, please like and subscribe to this channel. If, if you want to share these videos at any time, that would also be amazing. Um, 
and any suggestions on more stuff that you guys want to know. I want to make these videos about things that you guys want to know about with fitness, um, you know, nutrition, exercises, workouts, discipline, having routines, you know, how to have, you know, the right mindset in order to crush it every single day. Um, you know, I'm still in the process of all of it, but, um, you know, I just want to be the person that, that people can come and talk to about those things. And I want to create that community uh, for all of us. So please like and subscribe. Really appreciate everyone. Um, and I'm pumped. I'm, I'm pumped about this, this certification. I'm pumped that I passed it. And it's just going to be, it's just going to be great. And, um, you know, I hope to see you guys soon. Hope to see you guys in the gym. You know, anyone needs any help, I'm always here for you guys. You can always hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Keep living that warrior lifestyle. Keep crushing it, guys. And get after it.